Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be teaching you about some of the most important color correction and color grading tools, the curves effect and the levels histogram. So two things before we get this video started. The first is that the intro you just saw was a fan made intro and I will leave the link to the channel in the description. So thank you for giving me that intro. It's not a permanent intro, but I just wanted to show you guys. The second thing I wanted to say is that you don't really need much prior knowledge to today's video, but it might be hard to understand some of the concepts early on. So today's video is going to be rated 2 stars out of 5 on the difficulty scale. So let's begin. Here I've got a composite shot here with just this stock footage time lapse. You don't need to have a inner composite shot, but that's simply what I've done. And we're going to go and first apply the curves effect. So into your color correction tab in your effects, you've got your curves effect right down here, and you can simply drag it onto your video like normal. So how does this curves effect work? Well, first of all, we might want to extend this a bit so we can see the whole grid here. And the curves effect is basically this graph. Um, and in the graph, the x-axis or the horizontal axis stuff here, this represents the input, so the original image. And the stuff on the vertical axis, or the y-axis, or up and down, that's representing the output, or the final graded image, and the result of what happens when you apply the curves effect. And as you can see here from these shades right here, this represents complete black, and this represents complete white. This represents complete black, this represents complete white, and we can use the graph to change these values. So let's just start off easy. To create a point in this line right here, we can simply click where we want our point to be created. So one thing I can do with this curves effect, for example, is make everything that's 50% grey uh, into 3 quarters grey. And the way I can do that is because you can see in the middle here, this is exactly 50% grey right in the middle. And if I drag it down, it means that now everything from the input that was 50% and the output is now become three quarters grey, so it's now become more dark. Another thing I can do, for example, is I want to make everything that's 50% grey or darker, if I want to make all of that completely black, then we can see just how that works here if I drag this point right down to the bottom where all of our midtones here, all of them have been completely crushed to black. And the nice thing about the curves is that as you move the point around, it'll adjust the curve so it makes a really, really nice a smooth line uh, which adjusts the colors really really nicely. So for example if I want to add contrast in this image I can make all the darks in the original image even darker and I can make all the bright stuff in the original image even brighter. And that way if we turn on the effect and we just look at our final result we can see just how much more contrasty and how much more punchy the final image is compared to this image right here. So you've got some presets down here the normal flat one without any points in it, and an S-curve which applies a little bit of contrast. So, as you can see, the flat one does nothing, and the S-curve, just reload this, uh, adds a little bit of contrast right here. So that's RGB, but what if we want to change it to one specific color channel? What will that do? Well, if we, for example, select red, then we can add or subtract red in a very similar way. So, for example, in the shadows of the original image, if we want to remove red, we can just uh, bring it down like so. And if we want to add red into the highlights, we can simply do it like that. So once again, this is pretty much the same, but the higher you go here, the more red there is, and the lower you go here, the less red there will be. And the same applies for blue. So we can add blue into the shadows and remove some from the highlights just by dragging it down like so. And now we've got blue added in the shadows as well as red removed from the shadows, red added to the highlights, blue removed from the highlights, and in the RGB we can just add a bit of contrast. And that's how the curves effect works. It's quite simple when you understand it, uh, and it's a really great way to really fine tune the colors in your video. Next up we're going to have a look at the levels histogram. So all you have to do is grab the effect and drag it on. So the histogram is this little graph here and it's a different graph to the curves as you can see. On the x-axis or the horizontal axis you've got the values from black all the way to white and on the vertical axis you can see which of the colors there are. 
So we can see from this image right here that in the, in the highlights where there's lots of white, you can see that it's very, very blue, as you can probably tell because there's a lot of bright blue sky here. And you can also see that there's lots of red around the midtones here, around this sort of area, and there's also lots of red in the shadows right here. So you can see how much of what color is exactly uh, in each place. And if you go to RGB combined, then you can have a look at your histogram, not in terms of colors, but just in terms of shades. So you can see here that there's not much pure white, but there's lots and lots of colors, lots and lots of pixels here that are about this bright, and quite a few pixels here that are about that bright, but not very many pixels that are only middle bright. So this is just a great way to view the colors in your video. And something I often do uh, is I use the levels histogram just for this histogram. I do my normal grade with all sorts of other effects, and I drag on a levels histogram at the end just so I can really read my colors to see if it's all right. You'll notice that there are five items here which you can change, as well as five things here, five of these little triangles, um, and each of these represent one of the sliders, like so. So here we're going to look at the input black. A great way to visualize what we're doing here is just to see what this slider does as we move it around here. So the black bit here and the white bit here, between these represents our final image. So what we can do is we can crush everything so that all this data here is lost and it just becomes complete black and everything now goes from complete black here to complete white at the very end here. And the same happens with the input white. We can make everything so that it starts here and everything here is completely white and then it goes from complete white to complete black. Now the gamma is this middle thing here and it essentially adjusts the midtones to make them darker or brighter. Now the output here is essentially like moving the graph itself and squeezing the graph uh, into the area of this. But if we look at the output black here we can see that there are no pure blacks in this image anymore and it's all become, if we put it here, they've all become like a 50% grey. The same for the output white. And very similarly to what we did with the curves, we can do the same with each of these colour channels. So the input here will remove the red here, um, and the output uh, and the input here will add red to the highlights here. So those are your levels histograms and your curves effects. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I hope this was helpful to you with your colour grading, and I will see you guys in the next video. Stay shiny. Bye.